friends, strangers, confused passerby. Welcome to Vlogmas. It's about six in the morning and it is time to get up. It is time to start the daily grind, my friends. It is a Wednesday. This is no Sunday. We are not here to relax. We are here to get stuff done. Namely, um, drink coffee. I just wanted to show you what I wake up to every morning. Listen, did December 1st sneak up on me? Yeah, a little bit, okay? It did, kind of, you know. At first it was um, July, and I was like, you know what, this year I think I'll do Vlogmas. And then I continued to have those thoughts leading up to November 30th. And then suddenly I woke up and it was December 1st. Like, what is that? Are these vlogs going to have cinematic quality? Absolutely not. Am I prepared in any way, shape, or form? Vaguely. Will some of these probably be three minutes long? Very likely situation. I have chosen to take on the great Vlogmas project of 2021. Do I have a plan? As I said before, vaguely, okay? I made myself kind of this advent calendar situation. I wanna show it to you. Walk with me. For, I forgot that the, um, you can't, I have to, the microphone and you're not actually here. I have to move the camera, so I'm gonna hang on. <clears throat> Hi, hello, it's me. Some hours have gone by and I'm editing the video and I realize that I have messed up. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of that. Hindsight is 2020. I, I do this whole part where I explain this, uh, which is basically the entire premise of Vlogmas and I managed to screw that up because I had my phone on a tripod and uh, I don't know if you know me, but I have kind of a nervous uh, demeanor and so the whole thing is just shake cam city. So what I'm here to do is explain to you what the whole point. And, I, and uh, you're too far away, okay? You gotta come closer. This is some Dogma 95 shit, am I right? What do we have here? is an advent calendar that I have created for myself. Up at the top it says V-L-O-G, that means vlog. That's what you're watching right now, in case you were unaware. Now, here we have this... I switched two of my days. So what we have here is an advent calendar of sorts. We've got December 1st, December 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and so on and so forth up to December 24th. And what do I have on each one of these sticky notes that took me half an hour to create? A bakery. A different bakery, patisserie, or chocolate maker for all 24 days leading up to the 25th of December. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm talking like, I, the ones I get a stick in my hand, I get very authoritative. I have no idea what's going on there. It's deeply psychological. So what I decided to do for Vlogmas is every single day, I will go to a different bakery in Lille, or, you know, patisserie. The one that I went to today, it's not a bakery. I'll talk about that in a bit. Or I did talk about it, but you'll, anyway. So rather than having, you know, just a box of 24, 25 chocolates that I could eat, um, which would be a reasonable thing for any person to do, I'm going to a different bakery every day and overindulging for the entire month of December, or at least 24 days. And then on December 25th, which you do not see here on this advent calendar, I, I will be making my own pastry. Do I know what I'm making yet? Absolutely not. It's a surprise for you anyway. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I accidentally got December 1st and December 2nd mixed up. So today I went to December 2nd's patisserie. It's not that big of a deal. It's just that I can't believe I'm already messing this up so bad. Today we are visiting a place called Miot. Let me get this piece of paper up there like it matters. <laughs> Ignore the fact that it says December 2nd, okay? <laughs> and uh, I, I went there today at like 11.45. 
So do you understand the premise? That's the premise. That's what I, I explained in this clip, but I can't use that clip because it's all shaky and weird. Uh, so now you understand what I'm doing every day, and then I will also do other things on those days, like work. I won't, I won't subject you to me working because it's mostly just me sitting on my sofa and editing video or filming me talking about my plants. Well, you know what? Just watch the rest of the, the video. I have to put, put this away. See you soon. We gotta get a move on, folks. We gotta, we gotta go get our sweet treat, bring it back, and start the day. The middle of the day. Person next to you. It's noon. That means it's noon. This is going really well. <laughs> Okay, mistakes have been made, all right? First of all, I was really nervous earlier when I was filming. I feel like, you know, because I have my Betsy Begonia channel and now my Little Miss Wiggy channel, when I turn on a camera, I'm usually in this like presentation mode. You know what I mean? And so I, it's like, it's weird for me to turn on a camera and just like talk and be natural. It's something I have to get used to again, if that makes sense. The real mistakes were made in existing. Going out into the world was a, a mistake. And this is gonna be a difficult 24 days, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about Mielt. Mielt is like the most famous tourist trap in Lille. They have, you know, the, the little waffles that are popular up here in the north of France and in Belgium. They have some pastries, which I got one of their pastries. And the inside is like very elaborate. Like they're way too fancy for their own good, okay? Like they have completely forgotten about the fact that we are in Northern France. This ain't Paris, baby, okay? This is Northern France, all right? So just hold your horses, Myrt. Hold your horses, okay? You get to go to Myrt one time. It's the first time you come to Lille and maybe you know somebody in Lille or something, blah, blah, blah. You, you're on TripAdvisor and you see that Myrt is like the number one patisserie. You gotta go there, right? So you always go to Myrt one time. And then if you move to Lille, like me, you never go to Myrt ever again. Like it's, it's really more of a touristy thing. It wouldn't be my first choice. It wouldn't be my second choice. It wouldn't be my fifth choice in terms of places to go in Lille. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that place. The things that they sell are delicious. It's good. Overpriced? Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with going to Miet though. And if you ever do visit Lille, go to Miet, you know? Just make sure that you have 20 to 25 euros to spend if you want a couple of treats. Here's the thing. I haven't like been out much in the past two years, okay? Like since March 2020, I haven't done a lot of running around. I haven't gone to restaurants. I've gone to like one social event with other people because it was outdoors, but that was September and now it's November, December 1st. And it's just like raining all the time, raining all the time. Cases have kind of jumped up in the past few weeks. So I'm not really like looking to go out and socialize a whole lot. It's, it's very clearly going to be another winter indoors. It's been a while since I've like gone out in public and had that sense of like other people's gaze. I go to a supermarket, I, you know, I do like, I run errands, I go to the gym, but I don't do a lot of like going to fancy places like Miet, okay? So what did I wear today? I wore skinny jeans, like old Zara skinny jeans, okay? And then I wore this coat and I'm, you know, I'm telling you, it's not a fancy coat. It's like got fleece on the inside. I didn't buy it. It was a gift to me. It's like, it's very warm. It's very cozy, but it kind of looks not great. I'm just not looking real fancy. Tennis shoes, not even dress shoes. So immediately upon entering, I have the sense that these people are ready to get me what I need and get me out the door. I do not match the interior decor. 
okay? I do not belong. One of these things is not like the other, that kind of situation, okay? I can, I can take a hint, you know what I mean? And also, I don't know why, I decided to take this crappy old tote bag. What was that choice? I was thinking to myself, I'll, I'll have like a, a place to put my pastry, because I know that they're gonna give it to me in a box and I need something to carry the pastry in. I can't carry it in a purse. I'll take my tote bag, my junky old tote bag that I've had for like six years. One of these things is not like the others. I immediately felt really uncomfortable and was like, I need to just get out of here. Oh, I forgot. I f I'll get to it in a moment. I didn't need the bag. They give you a beautiful bag with the, with the logo on it and little ribbons for handles, okay? This is luxe, all right? Look at this, look at this. Do I look like I should be holding this right now? No, I do not. Before I even entered this place, I took, I wanted to take some B-roll, you know? Like, first of all, I'm, I'm so uncomfortable taking video outside. And people look at you, like people stare when you're, you know, walking down the street and you've got your little, you've got your phone out and you're walking real slow because you want to read real steady. People will stare, especially in France, okay? I have lived in France for over 10 years. If I disliked French people or French culture, I promise you I would not be here. I appreciate the French. I appreciate this culture. I'm grateful for how hospitable French people have been to me. However, French people love to be judgmental. They love it. They, oh, they just, oh, give me, give me something to look at that makes me feel like I am better than whatever it is I'm looking at. They will, they will, yummy, yummy, love it, okay? So I get to the front of Miltz, and I'm gonna take a little, you know, just got my, I'm, I'm like, I'm making myself as small as possible. I'm on the other side of the street. It's one of those little cobblestone streets in Lille, and I'm, uh, you know, I, and I get my little, get my phone out, and I'm kind of waiting for like, you know, a couple cars to go by and for people to go by, but I'm like waiting to hit record. And there's this guy, right? It's like in his 40s, he's in his 40s or 50s, okay? Typical French man is what I'm seeing, and he does this. before he shook his head in shame. I could tell he was judging me. Who are you? And what are you doing? And why don't you mind your own? Like, first of all, if I were a tourist, I'm bringing money to your city. Second of all, I'm not a tourist. I live here. I'm just like on a fun excursion. I'm having fun right now, okay? Can you tell? So I feel like that's what these 24 days are going to bring. Okay, so the lessons I've learned today are don't be so weird about vlogmas, okay? Relax, chill out, it's not that big of a deal. Don't be so presentational. Second of all, wear something nice once in a while, okay? Why don't you go out and buy yourself a dress? Or wear one of the many dresses in your closet? Or lose a couple pounds so that you can, all right? Third, sometimes you just have to deal with the fact that people are gonna judge you, visibly judge you. Let's move on. Let's talk about cost. Today I spent 12 euros and 50 cents, which is much more than I planned to spend on a daily basis. I didn't just get one pastry because this place specializes in a certain tasty treat that another place specializes in. And I would like to compare these. So I'm just putting these aside for now. And now, for the, I don't, I don't, I don't belong here. Um, I just hit my cat in the head with that bag. I didn't mean, it wasn't on purpose. I'm just really clumsy. Things aren't really, like, it's just, it's a hectic day, Mimi. Come here. Yeah. I just hit her in the head with it again. Yeah. Okay. So this is the box that it came in. was a vanilla tart. I'm just a huge fan of vanilla. It's my favorite flavor. Like I'll take vanilla over chocolate any day. Fight me about it in the comments. 
come for me. I don't care. I love vanilla. And I thought that is a really good, like, basic taste test for a pastry shop. You know what I mean? Like, if you can do vanilla really well, like, if you can wow me with a flavor as basic as vanilla, good job. Okay. I may have spoke too soon about never going to Miat more than once. That is really good and I am, without a doubt, going to look like the Michelin Man by the end of this month. That is so good. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so good. Wow. Oh my goodness. It has this really crunchy but not crispy graham cracker-esque crust. Tastes a little bit like speculos. It's at the crust is amazing. Most of it is kind of like a strong vanilla custard, but it's like vanilla from Madagascar. It's like very good, pungent, but complex tasting vanilla. I think the center has an almond paste, like a marzipan. And then on the very top, you have like, I think a meringue, the fluffiest, airiest meringue. And then on the tippy top, you have this really thin layer of white chocolate with more like vanilla beans sprinkled on top. Shut up with that, it's so good. I take back anything negative that I said about Miat. Do I enjoy the ambience of it? No, it's not really for me. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off because you don't wanna see what's gonna happen next. How much was this pastry? 650, worth every cent. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a great 24 days, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more B-roll and, <laughs> and then I'm gonna continue. Of course you can be a part of the vlog. Give me five. <laughs> Wormy is a delight. I love her so much. I love you so much. Why are you going away from me? You guys, that was amazing. That was so good. Oh, it was so good. We learned another lesson today. Okay, lesson number one, if you're going to a nice place, you should look nice. Number two, uh, ignore the haters. There are gonna be trolls and you just gotta let them strolls. Three, never ever indulge in a pastry before you have already gotten full on a very healthy lunch because you will eat the entire pastry. And this is only day number one out of 24. Uh, we are on a highway to not looking the way that we look right now. I never, I didn't expect to learn three life lessons on day one of Vlogmas, did you? Okay, I gotta wrap this up because it's one o'clock. I have to edit this, I have to upload it so that you can watch it, and then I have some other projects that I have to work on for my other channels. So it's a busy day for me. It's still a work day and I have a lot to do. This is my first time doing Vlogmas, so you know, I'm, I'm figuring it out. And on other days, I would like to do more things than just go to the bakery. Okay, my feet were falling asleep. Sorry, I had to sit on my butt. I was thinking maybe one of these days I could go out and find like a little tree that I could decorate. I haven't had a tree in my home this time of year in like 15 or 20 years. So I thought it could be fun to do that one of these days, decorate a tree for one of my vlogs. I also have some other cute little projects in mind. If there are any arts and crafts that are related to this time of year that you would like me to try, like silly stuff or anything like that, feel free to share in the comments down below and I'll, I'll take a look. I forgot to rate the bakery. Should I do like an A, B, C, D, F scale? Or should I do like one to 10? Okay, wait, we got like ambience, selection, tastiness. That's all I can think of right now. Okay. Tomorrow I will try to have a grading scale prepared so that I can, I can grade all of these bakeries. And then if you ever come to Lille, you'll know which ones are the best ones because obviously I have very good taste. Okay. Um, that, okay. Bye for real. Bye. Why do I do that? Why am I doing that? Why do I, what's, what, I never do that. I'm not, I don't do that in real life. I just want to wish you a good night. Hope you get the cream with the pot. No more tender the tree, hit your back. Couple of Cover the teeth that you gon' be in while getting your seeds You with the back and I took it too far
car, look like a fool, even in my world, shit. Look like a kid with the heart that's lit. Tennis, bring me all you can fit. Do the part, he doing his, ah, uh, yeah, like.